Once upon a time, televisions were massive bulky lumps because you needed a thing called a cathode ray tube sticking out the back of the screen to create the picture. Then, around the start of this century, we got rid of our CRTs and replaced them with flat screen TVs. The latest plasmas are now really rather good. LCD and plasma technology only required an inch or two of working space behind the screen, so TVs no longer had big old booties. Right now, though, we're on the cusp of a whole new flat screen revolution. Our TVs are about to get ultra thin. Right. The biggest box we've ever had. Otis, what's in it? I know it's a TV, don't, don't start with that bit. All right, it's not, it's not just a TV, though. This is the latest offering from LG. This will blow your mind. Here we are. OK, yeah. welcome. It's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> that, however, is not... <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, it doesn't um, bode well. I dread to ask you to hold that now. Okay. Okay, so here we go. It's a it's a massive box. Yeah. But within said massive box is a very thin TV indeed. In fact, the screen itself is 2.57 millimeters thick. Thinner than a Givenchy model. <laughs> Thinner than a pound coin. All right. So oh, this is we'll falling away. If we just place that down here, yeah. then we should be able to get the TV itself. It wobbles. That's, that's how thin it is, OK? Yeah. And another really sexy thing about it is how you mount it. Because it's so thin, yeah? Look at it that. Does, hold on, let's, let's, let's get that. Worrying. Look at that. Look, look at that. No damage is being done to the screen, by the way. Um, the fact that it's an OLED screen means it's very flexible. So we're going to hang it up yeah. so that we can take a look at its picture. Quality. How do you hang it? And just let it slide down. That. There you go. That's just make tummy sure. That's it. And that would that stick on the wall there with magnets or something? That goes up with magnets. Yeah. Wow. I'm right. blown away right. by how thin now, it is. Because it's it's so thin, mm. it is literally just the screen. Yeah. So all the sound, the tuner, and all the port gubbins is in a really nice looking sound bar, which itself okay. weighs an absolute ton. So <laughs> you're right. Yeah. There we are. Now, this does have some weight to it. It's a heavy bit of kit, this. Oh, yeah. But this is all the connectivity you need in terms of the screen oh. to the sound bar itself. Then there are four HDMI ports in the back. How much money is this television? <laughs> this costs £8,000. £8,000. Yes. That's an awful lot of money for a telly. Is it? It is! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. A telly as sexy as this, I don't think so. So, shall we have a look at the picture quality? Yes, yes, please. Mm. OK, let's fire it up. Georgie? I have the power. Mm. Wow, look at this moving parts. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. And then, of course, you get the stunning picture. Wow. Which, which, is, which is standard with, with OLED technology. Yeah. Now, OLED stands for organic light emitting diode. Most flat screen TVs nowadays are LCD with an LED backlight. But because OLEDs have their own light source. You just need that layer. Come on, that's eight grand right there. Oh, okay, eight grand, an awful lot of money. But I am right in saying that very expensive tellies have got a habit of becoming much cheaper very quickly, haven't they? I mean, the, yes, TV technology does seem to drop in price quite rapidly. I mean, when 4K TVs came out, uh, probably just less than four years ago, they're about £6,000. You can now pick a 4K TV up for a, just over 300 You do get the sound bar included in that, though, so it's a great out-of-the-box solution. So, shall I put you down for three, Craig? Yeah, when they become £300. <laughs>